Holy cow, you got that printed out quick. All right, so yeah, the last few pieces are printing. Um, I have a little bit of cleaning up to do, and this is the Eclipse and Pathfinder. Um, it's actually an FPV platform, so it's twin engine and uh, has a V-tail in the back, and it's set up for a camera right here in the nose. As you guys know, I love 3D printing, and I also love building, so this is gonna be exciting. Let's get to it. All right, Dan, what you doing, bro? All right, I am currently putting together this uh, clips and plane and uh, just got done gluing this hinge on here. Okay, the little and, tabs uh, in there? Yeah, yeah, basically we just uh, have some flexible filament, we CA in, and we prefer using you know, the zap adhesive. Uh, a couple different ones, I prefer the medium or the thick, depending on what I'm doing. If I'm gap filling, then the thick, obviously. Okay. And for doing this kind of stuff, I like using the medium. It medium. kind of flows in still, but it still has a, a little bit more uh, bite to it, I guess, than what the thin would have. Awesome, look at that. Look at you. Yeah. Moving and grooving, no done so. All right, so I'm going to uh, get the flap put on this wing. I have the aileron and flap to put on the other wing. I actually made a mistake, and that's one of the cool things about the Eclipse and Planes. You make a mistake, I should have watched the video, so if you guys are watching this, make sure you watch the actual build video. Right. But um, nonetheless, I had to remake some of the flat parts, and it's as easy as just hitting print again and waiting for them to finish, and I'm all set. That's great. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna, how long until yeah. you get this thing up and running, bro? Um, I think it'll be ready to fly by end of day, and probably tomorrow, we'll, hopefully, we'll go out and fly it. That's awesome. I'm gonna go shoot some gaps in the trees and all that fun stuff. That's sick, dude. <laughs> yes, the Eclipsin, what is this one called? Uh, Pathfinder. The Eclipsin Pathfinder. It's gonna be great, guys. You're gonna wanna follow along. Let's do it, Dave. Yep. You know what, we knew it was gonna be big, but yeah, yeah, it's it's very substantial. Right now I'm hooking up the motors, getting the differential and stuff ready, and we're also doing counter-rotating props. It kind of makes the plane more stable and just uh, a little bit better to fly. I've always been against 3D printing spinners, but the clips and they've come a long ways. Their spinners look phenomenal, and also our printers are really good, so now I feel confident to be able to do it, and I'm actually putting 3D printed spinners on this thing this time. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, so while Dave is working on this over here, I'm gonna be putting the FT Aura 5 in. And the reason is, is because not only will it give us stabilization for really good FPV experiences, but also there is a feature in the configuration wizard that allows you to have differential thrust and differential stabilization, which means it's gonna use both motors on both sides to be able to spool up more or less to keep it straight and on target. This is gonna be huge when flying FPV because you don't have to worry about wind. The ailerons and the V-tail will be taking care of control, but also now the motors will be serving you too. This is gonna be a very new feature for our FT Aura 5s, which I'm really excited about. We're gonna be testing the configuration, which means if you guys have an FT Aura 5 now or you're buying one in the future, you're gonna have access to this tune. All right, so in the past with the Eclipse and Planes, they're beautiful and everything, but for some reason, vinyl doesn't wanna to stick to the lightweight PLA. So I tried something new here. I'm just taking some of our thin zap adhesive and I'm putting it on here and then I'm gluing down the vinyl and it seems to be working pretty good. So you guys might wanna try it yourself and see if it works for you as well. All right, so I'm gonna get these last few decals on here and then we're gonna go out and fly it. Yeah. So we got our friend Stefan here. Stefan's gonna be our spotter. Uh, now this is a Freya here, uh, which is cool because we don't have to have any remote ID or anything, but if right. you guys are flying at a location that requires it, check out our new FT Easy ID. It is affordable, it's economical, but it comes with a ton of really cool features. Stefan's gonna be my spotter with the goggles. I'm gonna fly a complete circuit, make sure that there's no problems. That's something I definitely recommend that you guys do as well too. Uh, and then Noah's or Michael's gonna plug in. If anything goes wrong, I have two best friends. I can pass it to one or the other and we're gonna be okay. Go All right, so and I'm gonna get out here. This does not have, uh, well, it has landing gear, but not takeoff gear, I guess. <laughs> exactly, <best> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm gonna go out here and launch it, and uh, hopefully it flies good. I love it. You look good, Josh. Are we recording? Yep, awesome. Recording, I see beautiful landscape here. What a beautiful day here yeah, at Edgewater Airport. It is gorgeous. Um, we're here at Ready Board Runway. Which, uh, if you don't know, that's our foam supplier. Yep. Um, they've been great all throughout the last 
How long have you been working with them? Oh my gosh. Well, from the beginning and stuff, and we're continually innovating new foam recipes and stuff, trying to get the best flight foam possible. Fantastic. And uh, we're always working on making it better. And making they're a big part of it. Yep. That's how we roll. Okay, uh, we'll you get it ready. Out. We're gonna let Michael get in the air. I'm nervous. I, yep. I like this plane so much, I'm nervous, but they all fly good. So, I mean, I don't know why I'm scared, but I am. So, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You see that? What happened? Let's reset that. That's weird. Did you see that? Yeah. All right. I don't know. Maybe. All right, so something a little scary here. I reset the motors because I noticed that it was kind of like acting jittery. Now, I have yeah. both my antennas opposing each other. Everything's in the clear, so That's good. hopefully it's not a hardware issue. Do you want me to keep these on the whole time, or do you want me uh, to get in and out? Uh, no, no. Just get them, get them on. We'll do okay. a circuit, and then I'll pass it to Dave, and then we'll switch over. You ready, All Dave? Right. Yep. Oh, there it is! You're in the air! Guy's not a click of trim. <laughs> He's like, holy I love cow, dude, Alvaro! I feel like Alvaro just crushes it every time. Every dude. time. I mean, this is this is no gyros, by the way, no accelerometers, nothing. So if you just put a pass through receiver, this is what you're gonna expect. This really is, smooth. I mean, I gotta tell you this right now. There is zero jello currently. Really? I would say, Mike, it's fast. Dude, yeah, you're scooting. <laughs> Level eight scoot for sure at the moment. It should be the trailblazer instead of the pathfinder. All right, one pass here, and then we're going to go. How's your uh, frequency over here, uh, Mike? You good? All right, I just want to do a nice low pass. Oh, one. this is so cool. Look at this. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I need, mm -hmm. I need you guys to experience this. Wow. And the absolute stability Jeez. of what is going on right now. It is ridiculous. All right, Dave, you put all the hard work printing this off. I'm gonna hand this to you. Out of the sun first. Yeah. Okay. Right. You good? <laughs> Are you my sunglasses? Glasses? Nope, I'm good. Oh. Wow. Uh, da Josh, you gotta look at the landscape later. <laughs> put, put this thing hands. up. Cause it's amazing. <laughs> All right, my turn. Okay, your turn. All right. Absolutely amazing. Holy cow. And look, look at the stability of this thing. All right, I'm ready. Dude. <laughs> Other way. <laughs> Sorry. It, wow. it kind of. Is it jittering at all? funny there for a second. I'm a little nervous about that receiver or something because <laughs> it, it felt like it failed safe for a second, didn't it? I don't want to be yeah. a team fail safe. Ready, Josh? Three, two, one, and hand it. Oh no! It? Yeah, I got it. This is so cool. It's absolutely uh, straight as well, an arrow, dude. I want it. It looks beautiful. It is gorgeous. All right, Mike, how are you doing with battery? Approval to buzz the tower. Yes, I'm going to put this in your back pocket here, sir. <laughs> It is locked in. Oh my Whee! goodness, dude. There right, was zero, there, Dave, there was zero movement from yeah. the wings. Yeah, it was perfect. Oh my gosh. And then the thrust line's perfect. Okay, you know what we haven't tested yet? The flaps. Ooh, flaps? flaps. Yeah, the flaps. flaps. Okay, ready? Half throttle, one notch. Guys, it didn't even change pitch. <laughs> but it did get slow. Holy cow, yeah, did it, it get slow. Down. All right, I'm going to Put my flaps back up. I have them on a two second delay. I'm gonna get real high. I want to go full flaps and then drop the nose because they're not flaps at that point. They're nothing but air brakes. Dude, listen, you you put your flaps <laughs> off and then all of a sudden you went from about five feet in front of Mike to like 40 feet. You shot in front of me? <laughs> oh, no, you shot in front of him. All right, are you guys ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Mike, you behind me? Uh, no, uh, he's coming behind you. Right, here we go, flaps right one now. and flaps two. No bad effects at all. And it looks like it's just slowing down. This is going to be great for landing, by the way. Oh, yeah. Because look how much. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> you're like. It's like so you're straight up. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then he puts, it, he puts the coals to it. Oh, my golly. I'm in the back of my head. All I'm thinking of is why is. Why did we get that weird fail safe issue? I just. I, I don't want to kill this thing. Yeah. Un unfortunately, Beautiful. sometimes uh, electronics just mess up. I mean, that, that is the, <laughs> the story. True. Do you guys have time for one long pathfinding journey? Mike, are you good? Here we go. I just want to do the river run. Ooh, river run. I like that. There's a benefit to having a golf course that you guys have blessed us with. Thank you, community. Y'all rock. Dude, look at that. That looks so cool, Josh. I, I, oh, it, it looks <laughs> Here so cool. Right behind us. There you go. Whee! <laughs> All right, time to shoot the tunnel. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> no, okay. Well, let's let's put this thing down for a landing before I do something too stupid. And, uh, and then we'll just go ahead and talk about the experience. You Perfect. guys ready? Yeah, All dude. right, coming around. Look at that, guys. Just sinks right down in there. Carrying a little bit of throttle. Oh, wow. Oh, oh yeah, Jay Biggs! Yes! 
Do you even see where you're at well, right now? Oh yeah, there I am. <laughs> Look at you, dude. It's awesome. It I'm is fine, amazing. Bro. Let's go. Holy cow. Okay, by far one of the most amazing FPV experiences and flying experiences. Oh man. You don't need to have FPV in this to enjoy flying it. Um, and especially with those capabilities with the way that it just slows down with those flaps. What do you think? Oh, it looks beautiful. It's real stable. I, I mean, there was no wing rock or no, anything. No, nothing. No. It was perfect. I, I say we charge up some more batteries and fly some more. We're going to have some fun. All right, we're going to push the limits, guys. Thank you so much for being part of the Flight Test family. Now, this is a brand new model, right? Stephen? Correct. This Pathfinder is literally out now. Um, just came out, so you're going to want to check the link in the description below. Use the code FLIGHT. Right to get five percent off yeah. all the models, um, but spe specifically this one. And if you guys want to have the same experience you had here, we're going to put a link down to all the electronics that you need to make this experience the same way. I'm going to get that tune perfected because this could be something that you could train people on, <laughs> you give people rides in, and you could enjoy yourself. Yeah. So make sure you uh, hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Yeah. Real quick. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Sucks. There's not much left of that, is there? No. <laughs> yeah, so here's here's a little behind the scenes story here. Um, the one tune and stuff I was working with, experimental tune, I went back to a classic tune that's proven, and there's a really cool thing called a quick set guide. But because we had that weird fail safe earlier on and stuff, I wanted to make sure, so I went ahead and just went all the way back to the beginning. Re, uh, re flashed everything, went back to the beginning, put the tune on, and then I didn't go into quick set and reverse the ailerons. I am so sorry. I was like, you know, I've always wanted to see a uh, 3D printed plane yeah, go down in glory. Interesting. And I got, I want to know. I think it went down in glory. <laughs>